Uh, how does the rocket get up there? Why don't we go uh, quickly through the flight profile? Now, uh, the uh, the rocket and the capsule uh, made it on top of it, uh, lift off at about 75 kilometers or uh, 250,000 feet or so. The two craft separate. They continue their ascent, uh, both over 100 kilometers. Um, the capsule uh, and the astronauts inside, uh, you'll get to experience about three to four minutes of weightlessness. Again, to gaze out of those big, beautiful windows, maybe do a couple of somersaults. Uh, I get uh, I get the impression that uh, Wally Funk in particular is pretty uh, jazzed to be able to do some of those up there, zero G. Uh, but then we will ask them to get back in their seats, buckle back in. Uh, they will descend under three uh, large parachutes. Uh, and then just in the last moments, uh, the retro thrust system uh, comes on and provides a nice air cushion for the capsule. Um, I will note to those of you that may or may not have seen our previous uh, launches that it does kick up a lot of dust down here in the West Texas desert. Uh, it's very much, it's literally is like uh, like talcum powder. So sends up a lot of dust, but really by the time the capsule lands, it's just at about one or two miles an hour. So again, a very nice flight that we have in store for astronauts on Tuesday.